Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for the 16th of January. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening in Asian markets today. Let's have a look at what's come across the newswires. US markets are obviously closed last night as investors prepare for a big week of earnings ahead. Expectations are generally pessimistic, particularly after those big bank earnings on Friday. We had a week session in Europe across all major indices, which has really dampened the mood in Asia. We're seeing also US futures lower in Asian trading. ASX is down around 1% with all sectors to the downside. European futures are also pointing to another softer open this afternoon. So perhaps some risk comes off the table at this stage. US dollar index is trading higher and threatening the top of a short-term range. It's actually breached it today. Despite that strength in the USD, gold tackled the key 2050 level overnight, slightly lower in Asia. And we're also seeing copper bounce yesterday from early December lows. Again, looking a little soft today. Oil is trading mid-range, looking technically very triangular as market participants aren't really sure where they should go next. Bitcoin had a very eventful day yesterday, gapping down after the weekend, moving from 45 down to 42,000. Fairly neutral today, but uh, time will tell whether there is further selling to come. On the data front, we had warmer than expected Japanese PPI data, even though it was softer than last month. We've got German CPI and economic sentiment, UK jobs this afternoon, Canadian CPI and US manufacturing all due later. And of course, that US company reporting ramps up this week. That'll be the major market focus. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Now, 360 AXX looks interesting. We've got a bounce potentially off this level at 670. You can see the last three days have been positive. We started lower again today, but have respected that support and moved up through the course of the day. We would expect this potentially to bounce up to test the 200 MA, maybe around this 743 level, uh, which looks interesting. That would be around about a 7.5% move higher from where we are today. I want to keep an eye on, perhaps see where it closes towards the back end of the trading session. In the FX world, the Australian yen is looking weak. You can see it opened weaker in Asia. A little bit of a pullback. Again, we're sort of moving to the downside on this during the course of the session. Worthwhile checking in with the daily chart to see context. And if we look at this, we could actually see a movement down to around about 96 in the fairly short term. That would be a move down to retest this low hit on the 9th of Jan. So we think this could be on the cards. At this stage, it looks as though we're sort of holding on to this 96.60 level. That might be a key level at which to get interested should it break to the downside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.